It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Sailor's Grave Brewing Company and it's a bottle of this Spring Farmhouse Ale brewed with wild weeds and bergamot at 5.6% ABV. Seven Forest Road, Orbust, Australia. Victoria in Australia. Uh, it's a 500 milliliter can. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. I'd like to give a massive thank you to Mick for sending me the beer. This beer arrived today from Australia. And there's something about getting beer from the other side of the world. Literally, down under as they say. It, I mean, of course, it, it's, it's crazy rare beer for, for me in the UK to get beers like this. And when beers like this arrive, it's generally really excited, want to get it out into a glass, get it reviewed. So, so thank you, Mick, for the beer. Uh, we got a four finger white head, uh, a hazy farmhouse ale. You most definitely get the, the wild weeds and the bergamot. Uh, it's quite a Definitely funky. Funky farmhouse, a little bit spicy. Ultraviolets, is that what they call them? The little purple sweets you used to get as a kid. Purple violets? I don't know. Certainly not the drug type. I'm not talking about the drug type. It smells terrific. Absolutely terrific. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Wow, that's really, really interesting. Weeds are mankind's way of saying a flower is not wanted in my garden. So something grows in your garden, like a dandelion, um, a little daisy flower that you don't want in your garden. That's man may, ma mankind's way of, of saying that's a weed, that's unwanted. But really in nature's, nature's world, a, a weed is a wild flower. It, it deserves its place in the ecosystem. And there's some, there's some really good uses for, for dandelions. When I was a kid, I had a great big wart on my hand. And my grandfather said, dandelion milk. If you're watching in Australia wondering where a dandelion is, is that, is that, do you get them? Big yellow headed flower grows about that big. Big green leaves on it. But you pull, you break the stem, and it's like milk, milk on the dandelion. I was, he told me to put the milk on my on my wart on my hand, and the wart disappeared, remarkably so after a few months. So weeds, as we call them, mankind calls them, has its uses. So rather than call it a wild, with wild weeds. Rather than calling it a weed, I'm going to call it a wild flower. And that's certainly, you certainly get the aspect of a wild flower in the beer. It's very floral, very drinkable. Bergamot, I don't think I've ever tried it. I like the funkiness, the farmhouse side to the beer. A bit of funkiness going on. Good carbonation, easy drinking beer at 5.6%. And getting the rest of that can into the glass of beer is just giving it a little bit more miles per hour, a little bit more oomph. Carbonation's a bit higher. It's a little bit more. It's more like drinking a, or, or putting one of those kind of fizzy sweets in your mouth and it kind of 
fizzes and tingles on the inside of your mouth there. A bit like that with the with the rest of the it's probably a can conditioned beer. The sediment in the can. I want to get it all in. With more flavour as well. That bergamot, that wild flower. Let's see if there's a dandelion. Australian's version of a dandelion on there. Probably not. Look at that. They're lovely weeds, aren't they? Look terrific. Uh, I'm a massive, massive fan of this brewery, Sailor's Grave. Um, I've had a, a few cans of beer now. Kindly sent by Mick uh, for, for the channel. Uh, terrific beers. This is a great addition. If it's a, if it's a permanent, if it's a, from the, for the core range, then I think this will do really, really well. Uh, you think about the Australian heat, you think how hot it gets out there. A nice farmhouse ale to, to refresh you, to, to yeah, revitalise your spirits, I suppose, on a hot summer's day. It's terrific, because it's very drinkable. It's an ultimately really drinkable beer. Um, so a little bit of biscuit malt, pepperiness, throwing beer everywhere now, a little bit of spice, Lots of floral, wildflower aromas and tastes. A bit like ultraviolets. Terrific. Absolutely terrific beer. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to give this a massive Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10. Beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.